वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश नाइन्टी नाइन सो स्टेटमेंट इज इफ द बीम हैज़ अ स्क्वेयर क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ सिक्स इंच ऑन ईच साइड डिटरमाइन द एब्सोलूट मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इन द बीम सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ कैंटिलीवर बीम वेयर देयर इज अ यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ऑफ फोर हंड्रेड पाउंड पर फीट और लेंथ ऑफ सिक्स फीट एंड देन देर इज डिक्रीजिंग यूनिफॉर्मली डिक्रीजिंग लोड ओवर अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ सिक्स फीट so what we have to find is absolute maximum bending stress a cross section of the beam is given as square that is 6 inch by 6 inch so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this support of the cantilever beam and draw the free body diagram so it will be like somewhat like this so definitely you will having a reaction force at point a which is r a and there will be a moment as well which is m a now from a distance of 6 feet from one end clear there is a uniformly distributed load that this distance is 6 feet that is given as while in remaining 6 feet you will have having a uniformly distributing de uh, decreasing load so what if we convert this uniformly distributed load into a point load so you will have to multiply this 400 with the length which is 6 feet clear and this will be acting at the half of 6 feet which is 3 feet similarly for uniformly decreasing load if you convert it to a point load so it will be equal to 1 by 2 into 400 multiply by the length which is 6 and it will be acting at a distance of l by 3 so 6 by 6 by 3 2 feet from this side so this distance is 2 feet and this remaining distance is 4 feet so you using equilibrium condition we will find this ma because you know that in cantilever beam the maximum bending stress occur at the fixed support so by using equilibrium condition sum of all moment about point a must be equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about this point here there is a point a you can see this point we have external moment which is a reaction moment which is ma that is counter clockwise so it will be positive so i will write that ma the second moment that is due to this load which is 400 into 6 and perpendicular distance is 3 feet and it is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so i will write minus 400 into 6 into 3 the third moment that is produced due to this load and this load is this one multiplied by perpendicular distance so this is 6 plus 2 feet which is 8 feet so i will write minus 1 over 2 into 400 multiply by 6 into perpendicular distance is 8 feet and that is equal to 0 so when you calculate it you will get reaction moment at point a comes out to be 16800 pounds into feet now this moment about point a is the maximum moment because you can see that cantilever beam the maximum moment will be at fixed end so maximum moment is equal to ma and that is equal to 16800 pounds into feet now we know that uh, maximum bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so we have this maximum bending moment we do not know i so we know that this is a square in cross section the beam is square in cross section and each side is 6 inch so this is 6 inch and this distance is also 6 inch so if we draw its neutral axis so it that will be 6 by 2 because that is symmetrical and that will be 3 inch now i for this cross sectional moment we know that i is equal to 1 over uh, 12 bh cube bh cube so 1 over 12 b is 6 and h is 6 also so 6 multiplied by 6 cube so 
so from here you will get moment of inertia comes out to be 108 inch power 4 now what about c so you can see from this diagram that this is equal to c c is distance from neutral axis till the top most so c is 3 inch so you have now all the value you can just put in this formula which is sigma max is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so maximum bending moment is 16800 c is 3 and since this moment you can see is pound into feet so you when you convert uh, 16800 into inch so you can multiply it with 12 multiply by 3 which is c divided by i and i is 108 so after calculation you will get sigma max comes out to be 5600 psi r maximum bending stress is equal to 5.6 ksi and this is the answer of our this question and that was all about problem 6.99 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching